Hey everyone, this is a video about how I record, edit and export Project Reality gameplay videos for YouTube. Uh, it is an updated version of a video I did in 2010, but a lot of things have changed since then and I want to make a, a new video about it. Uh, this hopefully is, inspires people to record P PR videos and post them on YouTube for us to see and show the amazing uh, teamwork and cooperation we have in our little niche mod. I have been doing this for a few years now, but it's just my hobby. I don't make it, uh, I don't do videos for, for money or anything like that. So for my needs, I needed something really uh, quick, fast uh, to, to, to record, edit and export the videos. So will not waste my time. And it's only one of the thousands of ways you can do it, but I really like the system that I created and I wanna share it with you and maybe you can see and do it yourself as well. For recording, I use Fraps. It's a paid uh, software, but it's one of the oldest and more traditional ones of uh, video capturing uh, gameplay. And, uh, and it's great, I've been using it for years. It's just what I have and, and, and I don't have any problems with it. Uh, some people like the X story. I don't really have much experience with it, but it's also paid software. Uh, a free alternative is OBS. OBS is mainly for live streaming but it can also record files to the to the hard drive, to MP4s. And uh, you could use that as a free version or a free alternative uh, to Fraps and, and DX Story if you want. Uh, there's a tutorial here that I'm gonna link on the description about how to set up the, the, the settings on OBS to record high quality local recordings that you probably wanna do. A very cool feature about Fraps is this loop buffer. The loop buffer, in my case, records the last two minutes of gameplay, and only that. Uh, that means it will save a lot of hard drive space. You don't have to record an hour, uh, an hour and a half long round of PR to only use five minutes worth of footage. So the, how it works is that uh, while it's buffering, it's only recording the last two minutes and nothing more than that. And when something crazy happens in the action, you can press the record key and it will get the last two minutes and from then on up until you stop recording. So it's a very cool way, it's a very good way of saving uh, a lot of hard drive space because the files from Fraps are very big. Another thing to keep in mind for better performance while recording is to set up your, your folder to where you want to save your movies to a separate hard drive, not your main hard drive where, the, where Windows or and your game is running. Um, that hard drive is going to be constantly being accessed by the, by, the, by the software. So recording to a separate hard drive that's not doing anything but receiving the, the, game, the, the video files, it's, it's better for performance. You can get a lot more performance out of that. Once you finish recording, you're going to have all your little clips of your gameplay. And it's going to be, uh, in, in the case of Fraps, it's going to be uh, timestamped like this. Uh, it's okay, you can use it like this. I have a little script that renames them uh, numerically like this. And it's much uh, easier to use after you do this in the editing program, Virtual Dub, that I'm going to show next. For editing, I use Virtual Dub. It's an uh, open source software and uh, it's a very simple but a very powerful editor. Uh, it's not really like your usual editor like Sony Vegas or the Premiere, but I really like it and it's the way that I found to be the fastest for editing raw gameplay footage. If you need to do voiceover or fades in and fades out and all that, that stuff, uh, it's, it, 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 some of the stuff you can do, but uh, it's not very intuitive. But for just cutting, your raw footage to the parts that you want and exporting it is just the best. So when you get to the download page, it's linked below in the description of the video, um, you probably want to get a 32-bit version of the, of the, of the release. Uh, the 64-bit is specific to uh, some of the processors, so you really need to know what you're doing here. Uh, so when in doubt, you don't know what this means you can just download 32-bit version, it's fine, it works great. Another thing you probably want is this plugin. Uh, it allows you to open more formats, video formats in Virtual Dub. It's, it, you need this if you want to open MP4 files or MOV files, MKV files in Virtual Dub. The last software you need is FFmpeg and uh, it does download the version 
that your operating system is. Uh, it can be 64 bits, no problem. Just click this one, the static one. Or if you have 32 bit, just download this one. Once you download all the files, first you can extract uh, virtual dub. It just comes in a folder like this. So you just, you know, extract it to a folder and put it somewhere in your hard drive. Right there. Right here. And you just run virtual WXE and that's it. Doesn't have to install anything like that. Uh, the FMPEG plugin for virtual dub that you download, it comes with two folders in it right here. Plugin 32 and plugin 64. In my case, I downloaded a 32-bit version of Virtual Dub that I recommended. So it has a Plugin 32 folder in it, right there. So you probably want to install the you probably know you wouldn't want to install the 32 plugin version here. So you just put it right there. That's it. And now the F input driver is running right there. And lastly, FMPEG. You're gonna ex extract it to a folder like this. Right, and just rename it to fmpeg, and put it in the root of your C hard drive right there. Why? Is because the the later I'm gonna re reference to this to this uh, path, and and run this little bat file right there. What it's gonna do is gonna put your current directory fmpeg bin in the path. And that means you can call the software from anywhere in your computer. The last part of the setup is to download this little file called dbzaum.vdprof. It's a virtual dev uh, settings, encoder settings that I prepared for, that I use for myself, and you can probably use as well. So what you do after you download the file, it's open virtual dev, right? Go options, external encoders, and import that file right there. There you go. And here are all the settings that I use for my videos. Took a lot of time uh, tweaking and perfecting it, so it was a good setup. The, uh, it has uh, all the command lines, is using that C FMPEG bin path that I told you to do. So if you have followed that setup, it's gonna work fine without any configuration. If you installed FMPEG in a different folder, you probably need to edit and change the path right there. But other than that, it should work out of the, the box. So this is what virtual dub looks like. <laughs> it's very simple, but uh, you just get your clips, right? Just drag the first one in, and there you go. You have your timeline with all your game gameplay footage. So what you wanna do is uh, watch your gameplay footage and find the moment that uh, you wanna showcase in your video. So all the way over here, where is it, where is it? There, we start shooting. So this would be an interesting moment to start right there. So this little two buttons right here called mark in right here. And this one is mark out. This is where you select the part of the timeline you want to cut out or you want to keep in, but you're probably going to use it for cutting out. So you start mark out right there and you see it selected in blue all this part in the beginning that you don't want to so just press delete and now your video is starting right here. It's starting at the moment you select it. Let's shoot them so they, they stay there. So the gameplay goes, we call area attack, everything explodes, blah, blah, blah. Explosions, 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 explosions. And I look away and then the way to here. And it's over. But usually you have more than one clip that you want to showcase in your video. So this is where you're going to add the other uh, clips that you recorded. Remember that I renamed them numerically. You're going to see it. Why? To, to add the videos to this timeline, you're not going to drag it in like you did first because you're going to replace this video. You want to click in File and Append AVI Segment right there. And you're going to find the raw here and you're going to select the second one because you're going to append on the first one there's already a timeline and there's this little checkbox right here that called auto detect additional segments by file name this is a special uh, checkbox that makes ah this is number two 
and I found number three, so it's going to append that as well. If there's more and more and more and more, it's going to append all the rest of the clips into the timeline. So I'll just click open, and now you can see this is where, right here, is where my timeline was, but it added all this rest of this the timeline from other clips. These are two separate clips added at the end of the timeline. So a quick tip is instead of using the mouse, that's not very precise to going frame by frame, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard and find the exact frame where it switches. There you go, right here. So you mark in and then you find the moment of the action that you want to start on the next clip. Yeah, it's it's around. Something that way. Yeah, AT is ready. Oh, we got it. Uh, right here. Yeah, AT is ready. All right, right here when he says AT is ready, let's see. Yeah, AT. Yeah, AT is ready. There you go. So I want to delete this part. And now the end of the area attack is right there. He's so good. AT is ready. Oh, we got Nick. He's going he's gonna to run over me. Warrior, right next way. to us. Trooper, right next to us. Warrior, oh my coming God. in. Oh, it's not a pod. Don't worry about him. He's not going to hit him. Fuck that little guy. All right, let, let, the, <laughs> let the APC take care of it. Let's go. Keep now. going. So there you go. It's a little funny clip with the AV just passing by us. And let's see. That's where I want to stop and go for the next part. Flank right. Flank that. Oh, the AV. The AV. Sure. Alright, so here's the part where the helicopter gets engaged. It's an interesting clip. Let's say we start right here. So I'm going to select the clip, delete, and now once this clip of the AAV passing by... Let's, see, take care of Let's go, keep going. Eyes on enemy cat. Oh man, I want to use a hat on that. Oh, the AAV! The AAV! Come on, AAV! Yeah! Oh, cast down, good job. There you go. So that's the let's say that's the end. And I don't want to show anything in everybody else. Okay, delete everything else, and that's my clip. So the area attack, the AV passing by, and then the helicopter getting shut down. Let's say that's my my clip that I want to post. So you can see at the bottom here the video is one minute and thirty two seconds, thirty three seconds. So how do you export? To export Remember those external encoders that we imported? So you're going to go to File, Export using External Encoder. And you're going to select the second one here, MP4. Uh, the first one is, is just for my testing, is MOV, is using PCM instead of AAC for audio. Doesn't matter, just use the MP4 one. There you go. And then you select a name, let's say Test, Replace. And it starts exporting. You can see at the background what it's doing. Well, what frame it is exporting right now. So let's speed up for the next part when it ends. Uh, a little tip. Uh, you can export just parts of the video if you want. If you have a selection inside your video, when you click File Export, you're going to only export that little section you selected. So maybe if you do that by accident, you can go here to Edit and Clear Selection. It will clear all the selection you do. And there you go. It's ending. It's going to be done soon. And it's done. So at the end you have your file with your clip. Let's shoot them so they, they stay there. So one guy Just done. fuck those. No, oh, we got Nick. He's going to run over me. Oh, it's not on that. Oh, the AV. The AV. Come on, AV. Yeah. Oh, Cast down. Good job. Man. There you go. That's your final clip you're going to upload to YouTube. It's a very short, it's a very um, small file because it's compressed, and but it has good quality settings uh, for YouTube from all my years of testing, and you can use it on your channel.